dying is an inevitable part of life. We will all die. And in Call of Duty and other first person shooter games you will die all the time. But it doesn't always have to be this way. You can improve. One of the ways you can improve is to change things. You're here with me, McSquiglo, for The Essential Gamer, and I'm just showing you something that I change. The settings. Now you really want to only change two settings, that's the sensitivity settings, depending on how you play. I'm quite twitchy, so I set mine relatively high. The max on World War II is 14, and look at how mental it is, it's insane. You don't want to play with that. It's going to make you sick. So, take a look. Go through the levels, because it starts off at about 5, which is really low. You get the very high and high ratings on A11 and 14. I set mine to about 9. Something you have to do is learn the maps. And once you've learnt the maps, you can learn the routes around the outside. And what I like to do is try and flank everybody. You know, you always see these people going on huge runs, giant kills, getting all the kill streaks all the time, you're just running around getting shot. It sucks. I know. I've been there. Whoa. Why well, I order. Now another tip. The reason he ran past me, and the reason that guy there decided not to kill me after I stabbed his friend, was because I'm also wearing a ghillie suit. No camouflage for a ghillie suit, you may say, we're in the snow. Well, I was camouflaged because they thought I was on their team. Now, I said learn the maps. The reason I say that is because here, I'm going to die. I'll take a few with me, but ultimately I die because I do a few things wrong. One, I don't reload. Two, I don't look up. And three, I didn't know that dude could come from that way. Anyway, back on the run. So I always pick a direction when I start, I either head left or right. And generally I stick to the edge until I find a way in. And I realised some were in this building and it ended up being close quarters combat and that was a bit of a panic. And it stays that way quite frankly because all of a sudden there's a guy on the stairs. Another thing you should do when you're playing on team games is remember you have a team. Now, I don't get this guy, my teammate does, look at him. What do I do? Stand around watching instead of checking all the angles. <sighs> but it gets better. Another thing is just take a second to take in the whole picture. I saw that guy running, but I didn't see that guy I'm pointing out with the arrow. It's the guy with the arrow that kills me. I get a kill, it's one for one, but it's keeping those kill streaks going, which is difficult, right? I want to use some glide bombs, I want to use some barrage. I want to call in some air support. So again the settings come into play because for me the reactions depending on how quick you can move your thumbs won't matter if the sensitivity is not high enough to register it. You see I'm quite twitchy. I use guys giving away their positions I try and use my reactions as much as I can sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, you never know. Sometimes it's a staff dudes like that. Yeah. Ultimately, first person shooters, especially World War II, come down to paying attention. I again didn't pay attention to my corners and didn't realise that that guy was right there. But I got a bonus there. But not a good score, 16 for 10 is too many deaths. Now when I say learn the maps, you don't always have to learn the maps. Maps like this, I can't stand, because it's basically a straight line. Sniper heaven. So, for this one in particular, I like to hide inside. And I knew that guy was there because my friend died. Should you use your teammates as bait? Oh, I don't know, it's a sensitive discussion, but personally, yes. All day long. They die, I don't. Now I don't camp as such, but I do like to claim an area. Think of it as domination without the flex. And generally I try and work the angles. I'm hiding here because I can't stand the snipers on this level. It's 
all that ever happens. You may like to be sniping, that's good fun for you, go for it. But for me, I hate it. <laughs> I prefer a gunfight, I want to be in the action. Grenade! So I just sit in the corner for a minute and I'm paying attention to my minimap and I realise dudes are dying and people are close, so just sit still for a sec. It's not camping if you don't stay there for the whole match. Dodge and weave, dodge and weave. At this point I get a bit desperate for killing people. I don't pay attention to it, i Sneaky bastard. Equipment, that's another thing. I always forget I've got it, never use it. Grenades sit there, death after death. But you should use it, trust me, because you never know. Bingo! So, again, just sneaky beaky, try and work the angles, see what's going on. Check your mini map all the time, it's there for a reason. If you don't look at it, what's the point? It's a bait situation. Oh yeah, yeah. Back in the same spot. Some equipment's gone off. Found ya. Unfortunately I got stuck on the reload that time. You can't always get it right, man. Now you can sort of use many of the tips. I mean I go I knew that dude was coming. I knew he was coming because he gave his position away. In many games you can use the same sort of thing. You've got the mini map it shows up where they're firing from, you know, people splash onto the mini map it's called. You know what direction they're coming in. And if you've learnt the map, you can start to learn where they're spawning. Now this one doesn't really work because it's a straight line, but on the bigger maps, you can certainly circle round. That's what I try to do all the time. Damn, mother... Damn. But this time it all came down to the sensitivity. I would never have spanned round that quick if it wasn't set higher. move about. I tend not to sit still for too long. I spend maybe five seconds in one single spot. If you find a good position, use it because you won't have it for long. I'm going to get the down oh, out no! every time. But I've got a bronze star. It's an okay score, 17 for 9. Oh, terribly sorry old chap, but uh, you lose. Ah, Archin. I do like this map. So this is a bit better. It's wider, you've got the parallels. You also have corners to check, which I didn't there. So, checking corners is a good one. Ah, incendiary. Couldn't do a thing about it. You know, people tend to follow similar lines, like they'll spawn in a certain position and they'll follow uh, a certain trail that they'll take a few times and then their friends will take the same trail and then they'll all die and then they'll try a slightly different one. But ultimately, once you find a good bottleneck position, keep it. Don't know how that killed me then, he should have he seen me off straight away. but. I got lucky, I won't lie. I think I get a little bit greedy in a minute. Again, equipment. Don't forget you got it. Don't just store it in your pockets. What are you doing? You're giving it for later, are you? I mean, what are you going to use it for? Give it to someone as a present? And remember, just because it's quiet, it doesn't mean there's no one there. to the punch. 
Now my teammates are there, I know that they're firing upon somebody. Lay down some fire, try and cover, and then I get a little bit silly. They're shooting at stuff, and what do I do? <sighs> I'm back in this spot again. You know, I don't care, you can call it camping, you can call it what you want. I found a good spot, use it. If you find a good spot, why, why be afraid to use it? People call you campers, like, that guy's a camper. When you're doing well, because they get jealous of it. Play how you want to play. Play however suits you. If you want to sit in a corner with a sniper rifle, do it. If you want to just set yourself up with claymores in a high position, do it. You want to run around and get blinded, do it. Doesn't always work, but do it anyway. Just have fun. That's the point of games, isn't it? Another thing that helps my reaction time is listening to some music that really gets like it sounds cheesy but the blood pumping like a running playlist or something like that at this point I'm firing on all cylinders I'm ready to go and do a marathon of course I'm sat in a chair playing on my PlayStation instead but you get the idea So another thing you can pay attention to on games, with mini-maps in particular, World War II, is uh, just check when it goes a bit fuzzy, because a lot of people like to have jammers. I don't, because it actually gives away your position. Yeah! I got the winning kill. And another bomb star. Don't mind if I do! Same prey, baby. 18 for 9 that time. Not bad, not bad. This will be the final one. Let's see what we can do. Yeah. Now we're moving. Again. Go around the outside. Try and flank. It's war. You know, play it like war. It's a game. People don't like it. Tough shit. It's because they haven't thought of it. It's because they're losing. Don't get butt hurt if you lose. If you lose, you try again. That's how the world works. Personally, I just like teaching balls the same lesson over and over again. Okay. See what's up here. Oh, hello! And your friend, too. Not a bad start, eh? Thank you. Oh, mini map. Where did they go? Right. I didn't see my attacker, but I instantly hide. Sometimes it's best not to attack, you don't give away your position, so you can do stuff like this. Uh, hello! Now I'm going to go the other way, because I'm guessing that they're spawning the opposite side of the map to me. And, oh! There he is! Through the barn! Go, go, go! That side. Not really sure where they're going to come from now, though. Oh! Well, that tells me something. And then I couldn't see the guy stood still like a tree. Okay, I'm working my way around again because I reckon they're going to consistently go to the same place. Sneaky beaky, no one around, checking corners. Surely not. Oh. I fire from the hip so I can clean house. Again. Ah. Maybe should have aimed, aimed down the bow that time. Now you think it wouldn't keep working, but it does. People make the same mistakes, they find a little hidey hole, they think they've got the upper hand. I actually started firing before I even got in the room. Ah. And there's another good point. If in a situation like that, you know, it's a firefight, there's someone nearby, 
don't forget you've got a secondary, it's a reason you've taken it with you. When you set up your loadout, you took a secondary. And if you haven't got a secondary that's decent, pick up someone else's weapon. Make them eat it. Mini mats fuzzing, someone's nearby. And again. <laughs> you know, this drives people crazy. It really does. Finally, get a glide bomb. Now, I'm not very good at these. I, I always forget the controls until too late. But aim for the red dots. You know, there's a tutorial mode for all of the kill streaks. Use it. And if if a game similar has a tutorial mode which lets you play with all of the things you can get, use it. It's there for a reason. Yeah. Okay, artillery barrage. I'm going to place it somewhere where they're going to sort of bottleneck to and see how we get. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's it about. While everyone else is hiding, you can go clear up. Charge! Pow! All about the sensitivity again. Wouldn't have spam around that quick without it. Come on, come on, come on. Reload. Ah. Tapple. Pow. All with an enemy's weapon. Still going. Didn't check his corners. Get in the back. Ah. And then I suffer for the same fate. Got lucky that time. Teammates. They're, they're, you haven't got to go gung ho. But I've got another bronze star. So, you know, maybe these tips will help. Maybe they won't. Maybe you'll shoot dudes in the butt like me. Maybe you won't. Who knows? Ah, oh, 22!